Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. This video is in response to a question I was asked recently by one of my subscribers, and that is, is it useful uh, to use core isolation and turn on memory integrity in Windows? Now, before I can answer that question, we need to take a quick look at what core isolation and memory integrity are and what they actually do in Windows 10 and 11. And this video applies both to Windows 10 and 11. Now, the easiest way to get to the feature would be just to go to your search, type in core isolation, hit enter, and that will take you straight to the feature. Or if you use the Windows security app like I do, just click on the security app, go to device security, and here we have core isolation. Virtualization based security protects the core parts of your device. And what this basically does is it uses hardware virtualization features to create a secure area of system memory that's isolated from the rest of your operating system where Windows can run system processes and security software in this secure area, which protects important operating system processes from being tampered with by anything running outside the secure area. And basically, it's an additional layer of protection. Now, if we click on Core Isolation Details, this takes us to the uh, Memory Integrity submenu, where it says prevents attacks from inserting malicious code into high security processes and if we click on learn more, Microsoft says it's also known as hypervisor protected code integrity, which is a Windows security feature that makes it, makes it difficult for malicious programs to use low level drivers. And that would be, as an example, drivers that are out of date to hijack your computer. And a driver is software that lets two pieces of hardware communicate and talk to each other like your um, keyboard and mouse, as an example. So memory integrity uh, in a nutshell, works by creating an isolated environment using hardware virtualization. Now, in most cases, memory integrity is disabled by default on PCs that have been upgraded. Um, in most cases, if you buy a PC, a new PC, or you do a clean install of Windows, this should, in most cases, be, in, be enabled by default. But in PCs that have been upgraded, it will most probably be off by default. Now, when memory integrity is enabled, the code integrity service. Now, remember we said that memory integrity is also known as the hypervisor protected code integrity. So when this is enabled, the code integrity service in Windows runs inside the hypervisor protected container created by the core isolation, which makes it very difficult for malware to tamper with your system. Now, you should just take note of one or two things here, is that when this is enabled, it can cause problems with certain apps and virtual machines like VMware and VirtualBox as the memory integrity uses the system's virtualization hardware as well. So just take note of that. Now, on older devices with outdated hardware that doesn't receive driver updates regularly or, you know, might not be receiving any more driver updates, um, it could be problematic and difficult to try and get this enabled. Now, on this machine, um, my Windows 10 machine, which is getting on a little bit now, I have that problem. And when I try and enable this, which I'm not going to do for this video as it's going to take too long, when I enable this, it does a compatibility check um, through all my drivers and then it lists all the incompatible drivers here and then it will turn this off, gray the feature out and then I won't be able to use it until I try finding an updated driver for that hardware or just leave the setting off. Now, I don't have a problem with those outdated drivers for the purposes of which I use this machine. So I'll just leave that turned off on this machine. Now, with more recent PCs and hardware, this shouldn't be a problem. Now, with my newer Windows 11 laptop, um, I have turned this on without any problems as the drivers and hardware are uh, newer and up to date. And also the drivers get updated on a regular basis through Windows Update. Now, when you turn this on, if you are able to turn it on, um, you will have to reboot your PC and if Windows detects a problem during this reboot, it will turn the feature off and simply refuse to leave it enabled and then you would have to come sort out the problem manually. Now, if we go back here, you will see standard hardware security not supported. Now, this is displayed um, if there is no virtualization capability uh, in your processor. You have no security processor, the TPM, Trusted Platform Module, or Secure Boot which I, in this case, I don't have TPM on this device. That's why I'm seeing standard hardware security not supported. 
So if the menu items for core isolation and memory integrity are displayed on your device, the hardware itself is capable. It's only outdated drivers or the use of other virtualization software um, that could cause problems, as I've mentioned. Now, on my Windows 11 uh, machine, under core isolation, I don't have this message. I have security processor, secure boot, and then at the bottom it says, your device meets the requirements for standard hardware security. So that's the difference between those two devices and um, why you are seeing this message. So at the end of the day, do you or don't you enable memory integrity in core isolation? And I would say, yes, it is recommended to turn this feature on uh, for better protection of your system. As I mentioned, it does give you an extra layer of protection. But if you are having uh, compatibility issues when you enable this, as I've mentioned, and you're getting errors, and you know, I would just say, leave it off as I've done on my Windows 10 machine. But if everything works fine, then I would suggest leave it on like I have done with my Windows 11 machine. So I hope that answers the question. Is it useful uh, to use core isolation and turn on memory integrity in the Windows operating system? I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.